Hey everybody, it's Kelly. Okay, so here we are in Vinyl Master, which is um, the program that you get when you purchase the US Cutter um, MH721 MK2 Cutter. Um, okay, so we're gonna do the same thing here that we did in Silhouette. Uh, let's uh, go into Google and I made a video before and my cutter wasn't detecting, so here I went to the University of YouTube to um, find out what the problem was. And ironically, as I was watching the video, all of a sudden my cutter started to cut and everything worked. So here we go. Again, we'll just look up mermaid clip art. Again, I don't want all of these colored images, so I'm gonna click on tools and just go ahead and knock it down to the black and white alone. Um, here's the image that I would like to trace. So I'm going to go ahead and open my snippet tool and click on new and go ahead and now when it's got this down here and it pops up with the size of the image, it's going to grab that. So I'm just going to click on it to redo it until that does not pop up on the image. So I'm going to grab that image and then right click and copy it, go back into the Vinyl Master and paste. Now this is something that it's like I cannot do with Silhouette. I don't know if it's just mine or if y'all have the same problem, but um, I always have to use my snippet tool and actually grab it and hit copy um, to get it to drop into Silhouette. If I don't do that it just won't paste it into silhouette so for example if i go back to google here i can just right click this image and copy it and go into vinyl master and paste it right from there without having to open up my snippet tool to do it but for some reason silhouette makes me use the snippet tool every time Okay, so here's uh, my image. Now you can kind of see when I move it around, I don't know how clear it's showing on the video that's on Facebook, but there's a box. If I bring it over that, there's a box around it and we don't want that. And if I tried to cut this image right now, it doesn't even give me the cut select button that will appear down here um, because it's not going to cut this image. Just like in Silhouette, you've got to trace it first or it's not going to cut it. So in this particular um, program, you click on vectorize. And um, if I say I moved the smoothing all the way up and the corners all the way up and I trace this image, you see how it gets rid of some of the detail around the face? So I'm gonna move those two back down and trace it again. And there's the detail that I wanna keep in her face. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. And now this image is ready for me to cut and you know that because the vectorize button is gone and the cut select button is now here. So now you can size it. Now this little lock right here, if it is locked, I can adjust the size and say I want it 1.5. It's going to automatically scale this image. So it's gonna say, okay, Kelly, if you want it uh, one and a half inches wide, to keep it in proportion, it's going to be 2.298 inches tall. And if I wanted it taller, I would have to manually do that. Um, if I tried to just put it in here, it's going to, again, proportion the width to 1.4 and it's no longer 1.5. If I want like silhouette where I can have total control of the size of that image, I wanna unlock this little lock. Now I can put it in and say, I want 1.5 by three inches and it's going to scale it to my specifications. If I wanted to be totally obnoxious and say I want it one and a half inches by 18 inches, that's what it's gonna do. It gives me full control of that image. So now I've got it the size that I want it. The nice thing about um, US Cutter with their Vinyl Master program is I don't have to place it on the mat or put it in certain places or uh, make a, a million copies of it to fill up the mat, I can have it over here and say, yep, that's the image that I want to um, cut. And as long as it's selected, I can go ahead and click on cut selected. 
I can change the size of my media width. You don't have to. You could leave it at 24, you can leave it at 12. I think the cutter comes with it automatically set up at 15. Um, but you can go into the properties and you can actually adjust that media width so that it will always be like whatever your typical um, size of your media is on how you buy your rolls or sheets. So if I had a, a little scrap in my scrap bin and it was only three inches, I can put three inches in there and it's going to show me with my one and a half inch little mermaid here that this is about how much material I will have left over. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have your mirror turned off um, so that she cuts in the right direction. This is not HTV that we're cutting, it's going to be Oracle 651. So you cut it vinyl side up and you cut it in the direction that you would want to see it. You do not cut it reversed like you do HTV. And then at that point, you're ready to cut. You'll select cut now. And at this point, it's showing you here it is. I could raise up the number of copies of I wanted. If I want 15 of them, 20 of them, 50 of them. I can go ahead and adjust that number right there and then click proceed with cutting and the cutter is going to take off and get started. So that's pretty much it. Kind of the uh, uh, just a simple way to take an image out of Google and put it into Vinyl Master. If you have any questions, post them below.